new segment we're gonna be doing. It's like Fu Wiley's corner. We just <laughs> Phenom watch Fu Wiley's rise. We're gonna be just keeping an eye on it. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about her, her high school career here. Um, All America, McDonald's, Naismith, uh, third team, All USA Today team, three times South Carolina, uh, 3A Player of the Year. Uh, 2A player of the year, 2023. Uh, just a generational talent. She creates advantages on the basketball court, elite athletic traits. Come on, she's <clears throat> her processing speed is what's so important to me. Mm-hmm. How quickly she processes, because you don't you don't teach that. So that that's that's a God given talent or a, a higher power talent, however, however you look at it. It's a generational talent. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's something that's within her that, that, that you don't t- that you don't teach. It's innate to her. Uh, improv- improvisational skills out of this world. Mm. She mm-hmm. sees the court. Mm-hmm. She sees the court beautifully. Um, I think you know um, what I noticed about the hard, her hard work mixed with her talent is going to be mm-hmm. really interesting to see. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Coach. No, no, no. You know what I noticed about her, um, and you mentioned some of the areas that she needs to clean up. Um, she has the most, she has the most turnovers. She has 24 turnovers and in watching her, I don't know if it's her not being able to keep up with the speed of the game or do they need to learn how to keep up with her? I think there's a reason why the great magic Johnson tweeted the way he did, because he sees a lot of his court vision and feel for the game in this young lady. I think what it is, coach, is eat a lot about anybody. Okay, (laughs) so she hasn't she hasn't had that great the game slowed down moment. But that's what I'm saying. Is it is it is that her fault? It's like no, not her fault. It's 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 a maturation. It hasn't happened in her game yet. So you know, people and and I hear a lot of NFL players like I got to the game and what was different for you between season one and season two of being able to get the ball out and to your receivers? The game slowed down for me. Okay. It wasn't so fast. I, I got used to. The, I think she's still adjusting to the speed of the college game. But I guess that's what I'm saying, though. Says is it a situation where she's such a generational talent? Do the players need to, in fact, adjust to her? No, and not that she's making bad passes. No, they're just not expecting a lot of them. Like, whoa, no, no, no. Part okay. of the game slowing down for her is being able to now take the time to understand. Who you're on the court with is building okay. this chemistry. It's understanding okay. where people are at, and it's knowing that okay, she's gonna be there, but it's a <clears throat> it's a beat slower than I'm used to. Okay, or it's or it's you know a, a couple centimeters ahead of where I would normally place it. it it's feeling figuring that out. I think uh, it's just the feel for this college game that, and that's why I think she's gonna be such a different looking player come March if she's working as hard as I believe she's working. And <clears throat> taking to Dawn's uh, coaching method as much as I think she is, because she's she's not she's D- Dawn's not afraid to be tough on her, and she's not afraid to sit her down, and she's not afraid to make her own earn her minutes. And when she has defensive lapses, she sits her she's she sits her down. We don't take risk with that. I don't want you to get get broken out there. I want you to be able to sit down and see what you're doing wrong, and then we'll work on getting you to where you need to be. So. Like I said, with her stepping off the off the off my bench as the sixth player, um, with these uh just under 60 days, probably a growth that she'll be able to have under the tutelage of Coach Staley. I can't wait to see what March looks like. I'm excited. I have a question for you. Sure. Where would you where would you like to see her three point percentage? Right now it's at uh point thirty one three one eight. Thirty percent. Where would you like to see? What's a fair number? I've seen it range between 31 and 37. Um, I'm not so much worried about her three right now. It'll come. I like the fact that she hit some timely threes. Mm. Um, okay. So okay. for me right now, I'm not, we're not, to me, we'll, we'll concentrate on stats and that would be the goals uh, and growth points that we set going into the next season. My, my focus right now would, for her would be, getting comfortable with the game, building a great understanding of the defense, learning how to anchor the team and and, and building chemistry right now. Um, right. And just making sure that she's getting into the flow of being a college student athlete 
because we don't want to forget that student piece of this. So um, that's where I would be with her. Uh, kid, kid gloves um, and just letting her take it all in and, and, and making sure that she understands she can make mistakes. One of the things that I heard Coach Staley say that I thought was really cool was that um, she's meeting kids where they are. And she understands that a lot of times they don't like to talk about the negative stuff or the stuff that went wrong because a lot of times they're being tore down in so many other areas. And so it sticks with what you're doing good and then how you can improve. Um, and I think that's a great approach uh, for keeping the energy and the positivity around the, uh, the team.